Hi, I'm Amanda Sowett with USGBC, and I'm here today with Amy the New of Asa Abloy. How are you doing today? Very good. Thank you for having us. You know, Greenbelt is a time where, you know, the movement convenes and we see each other and we talk to each other. What are you most looking forward to here at Los Angeles? We appreciate this show in general, no matter where it is. Um, these are our people. Uh, these, are, these are the individuals and the groups that we look forward to meeting with every year. Um, we find the audience to be very deliberate and intelligent and appreciative of the work that manufacturers like us have done um, with sustainable building solutions. The sunset period for old LEED versions is happening on October 30th. Can you tell us about the transition to LEED V4 and what you guys have been doing around that? Sure, absolutely. It's um, we, we understand that it's become more stringent and we very much appreciate that as manufacturers. We, we love that USGBC is pushing the industry overall to move in a more positive direction and we look to follow suit with that. And so a lot of our, our time is spent now in new product development and designing for the environment and especially with LEED version 4 is working to incorporate the entire life cycle of a product. So not just looking at when a product Product is installed, but looking at the the entire life cycle. So, what's our overall footprint when we extract materials, when we manufacture them, when we transport them? Working on an end of life recycling program, and and the new version of Lead has has really pushed us to think differently about that, and and we love it. So, a lot of people know Asa Ablo as a hardware manufacturer, and you guys clearly do a ton in the sustainability realm. What sort of products or services have you been doing that kind of get at that? Sure. That's, it's, um, it's an interesting question, and, and we get it a lot. In, we do make up a, a smaller percentage of a project overall, but that doesn't mean that we can't have a great impact. So our main focus has been um, mainly two things, energy efficiency, so taking a look at energy used on electrified products for doors and hardware, and then also taking a look at energy efficiency of the exterior envelope and focusing on sealing the exterior envelope. And then the other side would be transparency overall. So putting our products and processes under the microscope, understanding where a product came from, how it was made and what's in it, and then making better decisions about our suppliers and our product ingredients. Um, and, 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 and talking with architects in the field and designers and, and team members at USGBC to get their input and, and make sure that we're moving in a relevant direction as well. So you mentioned product transparency. That's a huge component of Lee V4. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else in the new version that you've really enjoyed working with or want to see pushed further? We, we love talking also about um, indoor environmental quality and this is another occasion where we think that doors and hardware can play a bigger part and that involves our Green Guard Gold certifications and the off-gassing of materials. So um, all of our doors and gasketing materials um, from our manufacturing companies have been Green Guard Gold certified. Um, and it's, again, just another way of, of thinking differently about how doors and hardware can contribute on, on our side of things and also for the customer as well. I know you guys have also been doing a lot of work around the uh, around the well initiative. Can you speak more about that? Yes, we uh, we have a lot of, of, of end users that have come to us recently, and they are challenging themselves to work on lead version four as well as well. And that that is a major contribution, and we're happy to be a part of it. We are focusing on a large initiative with glass openings, which helps with the daylighting and view contribution, and again. Uh, just getting us to, to think differently about how we can contribute and I mean, a lot of it comes from having these end users visit with us and and explaining what their needs are and then we can go back and and focus product development on those specific needs yeah you wouldn't tell but I mean being able to see sunshine from your office is a really huge thing so I'm glad to hear that you guys are really working on the daylight uh, aspect of yeah. that I'm um, looking forward to the next year 2017 what's on the horizon for you guys We'll, we plan on being very busy in 2017. Uh, we're, we're looking forward to the show in Boston next year. Um, and we're also going to focus even more on lead version four. So we, as I've mentioned, we've done a lot of work in transparency. The next step for us is to take those products that we've put under the microscope 
and better understand the information that we've gotten out of it and say, how can we change some of the, the ingredients in these products to make them healthier um, or more environmentally sound for the inhabitants of the building. So we want to spend more time utilizing the data that we've, that we've harvested um, to make more progressive movements in product design and development. Well, Amy, thank you so much for your time today. It was such a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.